How's it going guys? Test failed here. I hope y'all didn't fail your test today. Otherwise, we are playing Paper Mario the Origami King. This is the second episode, and I actually have a little bit of a plan for this episode, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it. But, I forgot to mention something. Now that we have, have the Whispering Woods available, now we can view our map and the info. So let's do the map. So there's four areas, or I guess four things that you need to 100% each area. So there's Toad's Rescue, Not Bottomless Holes re re Repaired, Collectible Treasures, and hit, Question Blocks. Hit. And then here's the thing so we can see our party. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. You'll we'll get to see that in a little bit. And our last save point, the progress we've made in the game and notifications, but we don't have any. Um, yeah, those are the things that I forgot to mention. Oh, yeah, and the item and use this, and the that's how it works there. But yeah, this area is called the Whispering Woods, and you'll see why it's called that in a little bit. Uh, also, I do want to recover because I'm not at max. I just realized I'm not at max. I literally just looked at my confetti bag. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not at max. Now I'm at max. Let's move on to this next area. I have no idea how I'm gonna get through this. There's a lot of secrets here as well. Like, there's so many. You see that? That's why it's called the Whispering Woods. The woods actually whisper at you. And now we've got lots of bottomless holes to repair. We've also got this. There you go. Oh yeah, you can also just find uh, coins and blocks, or like coin bundles and blocks as well, like that. Just like that. And you can actually see every time we're hitting blocks and repairing holes, our percentage is actually going up. So that's, I guess, letting you know. A stranger alert. So yeah, these, are, these woods literally are alive and they whisper at you. That's why they're called that. So many secrets in this area, though. I will be honest. Um, and to be honest, I had to literally look up a guide when I was playing this game blind. Like, to 100% this area. I will be honest. But here we are. So there's a hidden block over there, but we can't actually hit there. Because these are spikes, and if we jump on them, we will get hit. So do not jump on them. Do not jump on them. No... Know what you even? Never mind. That was a really bad. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, see, if you pull these, they sometimes give you things. So, for example, that one gave me coins. This one gave me a uh, matching puzzle. So yeah, this is literally a puzzle like matching cards. You hit one and it flips to something, and you hit someone. Okay, so we got nothing there. A hundred coins. Nothing. 100 coins and something else. Confetti bag and heart. Okay, now we know that this one's a heart and that one's a heart. And we get healed. There's not a lot of health though. Faded mushroom, faded mushroom. I'm pretty sure it's a faded mushroom. No, ship. Never mind. It basically is a mushroom that you can't really do anything with yet. We'll see what you can do with it soon. We got a confetti bag. That should be a confetti bag. And now our last thing is these 10 coins. And for completing this all, we get... This is a superstar, so anytime you hit it, you become invincible as well with the music. So there's two, two things that we can get. We can get this chest. And we got our first collectible treasure. It's Peach's Castle. It's number one. There's quite a lot of them. Collectible treasure, oh, it's cute. You should collect more of these, Mario. Maybe even all of them. I think we will be actually getting all of them. Uh, wait. It's over here. You hit this, we get a thousand coins. We got a do da dee da Basically, notification. It is check out the... Actually, no. I think I can read it here. Yeah. Check out the collectible treasures on display. We can't actually view that yet, but we will soon. Enough. There's a... Um, bottom, not bottomless hole repair, or that I need to do. And, um, also, you can, you can hold down the button, you can kind of aim which direction you want to go. And anytime you throw confetti and it doesn't land anywhere, it won't actually go, it won't, you won't, you're not actually wasting confetti. You're just kind of, I, I don't know how you would call it, but yeah. This one's hinting at us to pull it. And... You know those, like, faded mushrooms and fire flower, or not, 
not firefly. Well, whoops, I just spoiled something, but it doesn't matter. It's like we're literally gonna get it in like a few seconds. You see, anytime there's something going, something goes in this water, it it can, it turns. It actually is functional now. Like something that doesn't, that isn't really, is now functional. That's gonna have a hit on the next next ish area, kind of. Oh my god. It's Birdo! It can be literally anything. Welp. <laughs> that was unexpected. Sure seems a lot of weird stuff is happening. Yup. Whoa, 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 okay. Yep, okay. got some coins and now we've got ourselves this is literally it the faded fire flower so we can actually see that here not not there here we've got these things i kind of wish you could actually find these like well i guess spoiler again these are like really the only times you see them there's only one other point in the game that you can see that but other than that it really doesn't do anything Oh yeah, I don't think that does anything, so yeah, just letting you know. There is a secret, a secret here, you can get some secret bonus coins. Coins are helpful, I've used quite a lot of them in my normal playthrough, or my normal, my blind playthrough. Yes, when I first played this game, I was playing this game blind, and my god, I was struggling with some of the puzzles, I guess that's a little bit of insight. Oops. Oh, wow. There. Dang, that took up a lot of my confetti. Got a block, we got more coins. There's lots of coins you can get. I'm gonna get more confetti though, because I used up a lot. No, 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 don't disappear. Okay. There was a confetti bag that I wanted because I was so low on confetti. I so wish I had something. There's one thing you can get later in the game that helps you get confetti easier. I won't spoil what it, exactly what it is, but I just show. I'm just kind of hinting, I guess. Hint, 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 hint. No. All right. I'm sorry that this point's a little bit boring. I am just trying to fill up on confetti, so I'm at max. You never know. So actually, I need to do this part first. Um. So we can pull this and, uh, yeah, no, that's not really gonna work. I think, is it this one? Yep. Look at that. So anytime you see that, it signifies, um, uh, the magic circle. And now we gotta pull this down. Like that. And now we've got ourselves another thing that needs to be put in that little pond that we saw. A shivered seed, a seed that seems to be shivered up. For lack of water. Oh, we're at max. This is, um, mysterious. Reminds me of Breath of the Wild. You know, like the Lost Woods. So quite literally, it literally is, too. We go this way. We're in the same area. We go this there. We go this way. We end up in the same place. And I think you have to do this three times to progress, kind of. I feel like we're not going anywhere. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if we should sit down, but Olivia really wants us to. It was a bad idea. I knew it. <laughs> I told you the trees are alive. I lit, and I was, I was literally being honest there. You can't sit on old Grand Sappy's head, mister. That's not right, he's the elder of this, for of this forest. For s show some respect, he's got twigs older than you. So what if he, he's been logging by, by those nasty little toads? He's, he's still the man, homie. Yes, yes. Thank you, darlings. Bless your fork. 
You young man, go go back and tell your flat paper friends what a stat I'm in. I've hardly been hard what to, to speak and let alone learn you some manners. Hmm. <laughs> We're not toads though. Old Grand Seppi here has been been same slight they cut him right down. That's why he's mad at y'all, you flat paper folks. D down down good tree in the a prime shame on you. I'm also sorry for being really quiet. It's kind of hard for me. <laughs> oh, and oh, and by the way, you need Nefemi's permission if you ever plan on leaving. So how about here? Com comfortable? Cause you're gonna be here forever. <laughs> well, great. Origami, you say? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, if what you say is true, then perhaps you might be of some assist to me. If you can find a way to restore my energy, I will, I may let you to leave this place. So wonderfully genius of you, truly. I only wish we knew how... Sorry, energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do the best to help. If you're going to help, we're going to we'll let you wander around a bit. Quite literally. So yeah, the mist is clearing, so we can now actually leave. Well, sort of. We can't leave the forest. We just leave... We're just... We can only go into these areas. Recording bin. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. I don't even know if we'll be able to get to the point that I want to anymore. Alright. Uh, let's actually not save in case the recording goes wrong. And I need to do a redo, then that's fine. Can we get coins and confetti and everything? I'm hoping to- I was literally about to say that! I was hoping we are gonna run into enemies. We got a wave battle, so basically meaning that there's multiple waves. Kind of... And here's the red streamer battle music. It is really good, despite it- or er, Surprisingly. We gotta line them up. We only get 20 seconds to do it. Yes, stop telling me about this stuff. We literally just battled in the last episode and you're giving us basically the same tutorial. What the heck? Okay. Great lineup attack power up so we get a so we get a 1 in 5 tens multiplier. So yeah. We oh yeah, we can also use items, but there's no point since we're at full health. So we're gonna use a jump. Yeah, you're gonna tell us about the Excellent action command, but honestly, I already know it. So again, it does absolutely, yeah, it's absolute no use to me. Mario's turn. And there we go. Now we've got to do uh, the hammer action command, I think. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to do the hammer action command. Hate that it gives me the same tutorial again twice in literally episode. I don't even know. All right. Now we want to do the hammer attack, and this remember how I said this action command is a little tough. It or at least to me it's kind of because even playing this game a lot, I sometimes don't get this action command perfectly. So yeah. Ah, oh, okay. See? I told you I don't always get this action command the best, so it's kind of hard. But, I do know it's been a while since I played this, so I do need to get back into this. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Oops. Yeah, so whenever you defeat folded soldiers, they give a lot of confetti, a decent, okay amount of coins, and sometimes they can give you items, so always worth fighting them, if you want to fight them, that is, but you could always not fight them if you don't want to. And it's not really much XP into doing this, but it's it's cool nonetheless. Got all these coinos. Oh yeah, if you jump on an enemy or hammer them before you actually initiate, you get a first strike, so you're doing a little bit of early damage. You kind of see. And now we now we're being taught to use two ring moves. 
basically, there's no way we can line up with just a single one. Now we have two ring moves, so we can move two of them at... At once, basically. Well, not at once, but like... We can move... Basically, we have two ring moves. Oh my god, I cannot even explain it myself, despite me knowing this mechanic, like, very well. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Anyways. Boot action command. Perfect. Clear bonus, puzzle completion bonus, no damage bonus. I'm trying to drink water here. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Can't believe that one of those was holding themselves and hiding in me. Anyways, if you do talk to her or him, we don't know. We can, uh, and you battle that guy, he will actually give you a little bit of coins. There we go. Oh, hello, I forgot they can ambush you like that, and that was a failed first strike. I just realized I kind of wanted to do a, a hammer first strike, really. And now we're giving... Now we're getting a tutorial on how to attack twice in one turn. Sometimes... Sometimes, in certain battles, you'll be able to either have two ring moves or have multiple actions, uh, which, I don't know, it just bait, you get the idea. Anyways, you can select, again, you can select the enemies you want to target with jump or hammer, depending on. I'm gonna do the hammer just cuz. Not like it really matters. There we go, I got the excellent. This, that doesn't mean I'm good with it. See, an action's been used, and now we get another one. Not the hammer. We're gonna do the boots. There's also a weird thing where if you don't choose your enemy correctly, sometimes the hammer will only hit two enemies because this game's weird. <laughs> I will be honest. I'm sorry not reading all this dialogue. It really doesn't matter to me. Plus, you could you can watch someone else. Okay, no, I'm joking. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Probably only need, yeah, you only need one config. That was really risky, actually. The more, that was not worth it at all. Let's do, let's do a little bit of that. We can fill that hole up, go back here, reap the rewards, and reap the rewards again for this. Oh, hello, convey bag. That is useful. So we got ourselves another collectible treasure. This one is mushroom. And it's number two. <laughs> That's, I didn't mean to talk to you, but okay. Oh yeah, you can talk to him, but I didn't mean to. I was just jumping around because I always like to. And this is what you mean by throwing stuff in the spring. And so yeah. So we can throw any of these three things. Well, we're gonna throw this one. And we're gonna be given a new item for this. We are given a fire flower. So this is Basically a jump, but with fire property. So if there's enemies, if there's enemies weak to fire, it will do more damage to them. You'll see an attack soon enough. Hopefully soon enough. Maybe even maybe we'll have to see in a third episode. Hopefully not though. I don't want to get. I don't want to drag on the second episode for too long. That's the idea. All right. Here is what we need. It is the Soul Seed. Oh no! Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> I really like how they actually made the. Oh, uh, what's it called? I like how they color fonted it, like, like the same color as how old. Uh, Ran Sappy, like, would say it, so I think that's actually really cool. Hurry, please. Oh, why did I save? I just said not to- because of the recording. Okay, well, we're just making that this is a good one. Uh-oh. That was- that was a mess up. Oh, no! The Macho Goombas! I think they're Macho Goombas. We might see them. I like how it's raining, even though it really isn't gonna change too much. 
Also, I actually don't know what happens if you try to... If you try to walk into that. I didn't mean to push it that much. Oh, I wanted to get some confetti first. Are you kidding me? I just, all I wanted was to get a little bit of confetti. Nit. I just want to get confetti before talking to him. First get this, then talk to him. This. We need the soul seed. Yay! It's doing something, watch out. I'm just gonna let you enjoy this cutscene. I'm just gonna do absolutely nothing. I might even mute. No, I'm not. Oh wait, I forgot, um, never mind. Has returned yay and now that we have I guess repaired him I don't know how you would call that to a tree a question I, I I don't know I don't know and now this will be the music anytime you enter this little area or I think it actually stays like that for the whole whispering woods or at least this area of the whispering Woods, like the actual woods part because we're no, cause where we're heading is not the woods part, I guess you can say. This is more, I guess, the line part. Uh, well, since we already saved once, there's no we got might as well save again. That fence looked a little bit broken. Can I actually read it from the back? Do I have a sign on my back? I do, I, do. <laughs> I actually forgot that if you yeah keep out unless you want to stay forever. Pretty straightforward, right? Tch. Yeah, well, for us, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I didn't think I was... Done. I guess I'll show you what happens when you fall into a bottomless hole without repairing it. Tch. I meant to pick up this confetti, but I guess I... just fell. And I took seven damage. That's kind of lame. I took damage to a stage hazard. Wow. Well, I don't know if that's... Cause what would I call it if he's called a stage hazard? I guess it would just be called an overworld hazard. I don't know why I said stage hazard. I'm thinking of TTYD too much. Oh no, what happened? Some kind of face hat? No, it's, it's, it's a toad. No, he's been stuck. Stuck. He's trapped. I, I, I don't know why I could not say that correctly. He's still, um... Wait, hold on. Boom. I didn't mean to talk to you again. I meant to... Man, I'm getting the buttons confused again. Yay! Oh yeah, I think we get a coin for doing that. It's bad, it's real bad. There are so many toads in this game, like, it's insane, I will be honest. It's... I'm actually kind of surprised, to be honest, because... Oh my god. And, like, because it's part of the completion bonus... Yeah, if we if we're in battle and we need a little bit of help, we can always uh, press the Y button. But honestly, I well I've used it, but only just but not that many times. I've always just d like to figure out some of the puzzles myself, even if it means getting them wrong and learning from my mistakes. I always found that more better than just having the game, I guess, do it for me. Um, and that I think that counted for yeah, that counted for. Uh, toads rescue bonus, so that's 8%. I'm not gonna be willing to do the math to realize how many toads there are. Um, like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we can open this. There's. I should not actually take that, because the more I realize there really isn't anything there. Whoa, okay. We should be a little bit careful. No, I'm just kidding. It was just one of the few times. One of the few times! 
Uh, I'm ruining your fun. <laughs> Never mind. Boom. That's a hammer burst strike and what it looks like. Why does it always do this? I, I'm so confused. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know if you can do something that you learn somewhat later in the game. Anyways, we'll do boots. Olivia's here to let us know when to press this A button, but I think that only is here for the first... For this, for the Whispering was. I think it goes away for the next few areas that we're gonna go to. Oh, wow. I can't believe that. I might have some... Oh, I don't know. I might, maybe there's like a little bit of a delay between my screen and, and everything. And because I will be in, I won't be including clips because I was never recording myself on this game line. I will be including clips, or not clips, but I will be saying stuff that happened in my blind playthrough. I will be mentioned. I will. I just do want to say that. So like, there's some part that I got a game over on, or if there's something that I found very terrifying or something, I will be mentioning it. But this first area was pretty general. This was a little surprising. <laughs> oh yeah, this is. Basically an equivalent of, if you played any RPGs, a heart block, basically. It's basically the same thing. It heals your HP up to full. So, yeah. I always like to call them heart blocks or heart benches, <laughs> I guess. Because it basically does the same thing, really. I keep accidentally pressing ZR twice, and I'm just trying to... I don't know. So there's quite a lot of toads here. There's one right there. This is where you kind of need to start looking out for some toads. I think you can't actually complete this area until I'd say mid-game, really, which is kind of in which I don't like, really, because it just means you have to progress, kind of, to just 100% this area. Okay, whoa, 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 that's weird. This area did kind of confuse me, but it really isn't that hard. It, it looks confusing, but it's not that confusing. I did get it wrong, though, on, on my blind playthrough, and then I did, like... Uh, I did, like, watch a few videos on this, and I'm like, oh, wow, I completely... They just tried to trick me there. We're up to 6,000 coins. A decent amount, honestly. That is not the maximum, though. I don't even know what the maximum is. No, oh, wait, what am I doing? Ugh. There I go. So we got more toads. Um, I have absolutely no idea what this is. Oh, I didn't actually know that. So this is something you'll unlock later in the game, but you can actually barely see a magic circle down there. So there's this here. Boom. Little like origami things you'll find are just like kind of like toads. So, and some of these toads can be hidden pretty well. I feel like some of these toads just didn't get stuck like this. I feel like they're just trying to hide. I don't know. We don't have fire, so we can't actually, um, have some- Oh, I completely forgot he was there! <laughs> I completely forgot he was hidden right there. Oh, there's no way we're gonna get to the area that I wanted to in this episode. Looks like we're waiting. Kind of easy, still. Just like that. We'll do boots. Done, done, done. I don't know. Entertain myself a little bit while I'm doing these battles, because some of these... Well, I will most likely do battles just because they're fun. And for the coins. I, did, I got a great. Okay. Again, like I said, even with playing this game a lot, I still sometimes get the sound command messed up. So, yeah. And this is kind of bad for a, later, for a section that's coming up later in the game. And I mean, I'm talking about way later in the game, too, so... Not really right here. If you hit that from below, you'll get a weird looking flower. Then if you hit it, you get toad. There's so many toads. 
Just letting you know. We can't go into this cabin because the owner left. And there we go. There's another toad. They're hitting all over the place. H hitting? Hidden. All over the place. So. Um, oh yeah, he's just telling you that if you're stuck anywhere, you can press X. Also, if you hit that, the radio thing stops and now it's just basically like silence. Let's find that little easter egg that you can figure out. Um, oh, I completely forgot. There's, I completely forgot a hidden, a hidden question mark block. Uh, oh yeah, look, that's 100% all of the bottomless holes, not bottomless holes repaired. So there's that. But this is where the game starts to get a little bit evil with 100%ing. You may not expect anything, but there's a hidden block straight up on top of it. And I feel like that's like really bad. This one's kind of obvious that it's there, but this is where I feel like it just gets really annoying to 100% because you're basically just having to jump through every single section just to get anywhere. And this is another hidden block here. We got a fire flower for it, but I'm going to go back and get a hidden block that I missed because... Yeah, I actually completely missed this hidden block. Oh yeah, there's also a toad here. I totally forgot. Kinda glad I'm backtracking, because then I'm I'm able to see some of the things that I actually missed. Now he can be on the swing. So here is a hidden block over here somewhere. I think it's like here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. That's all the that's all the question block blocks hit. I feel like that one and like the one by like the question block that's on top of it are really evil because there really isn't like a clue. In my opinion, there isn't really like a clue that that's there. There is one thing that you unlock later in the game that helps you that helps you find hidden blocks, but I still think it's annoying just having to like jump everywhere just to just to get just to find them. So, yeah. Kind of a thing to let you know. There we go. We've got more things. And, uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be an okay spot to stop in a little bit, as long as I find another save block. What? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Okay, well, I guess I'll- let me read that. Firing it up so you can wolf it down. Welcome to Toad BBQ. Fluttering all firewood used is happy to burn. Quite literally. Or sad. Or mad. Whatever. Anyways. Yep, that's actually we're gonna be where we're gonna be ending the first not the first, I'm completely getting things wrong. The second episode. So we won't be able to do, but I guess that's extra content for the third episode that I will be wanting to upload soon. Man, that took longer to load than it really should have. There we go. More coins to get. And look at that. There's folded soldiers and Goombas. So this is, an, this is a wave battle. No, that doesn't mean four waves. That would be insane. Oh yeah, now we're taught completely new a completely new mechanic that can actually get a little bit complicated way later in the game, I will be honest. But So here's something. If you when you are So you know how you can use ring moves and you can rotate? We can also slide, so we press L. We can show, or R, depending. You can actually, you can actually go into like this moment. And now we use A to select, and you now, you need to move. Using the L stick, instead of rotating them, we kind of move them like that. You kind of teleport to the other side. It's a little complicated, or I mean, it looks pretty easy, but trust me, it gets pretty complicated in the, like in the, in like the end game, I will be honest. And look at that, we have, this is gonna be our last wave. We're basically taught the same way. Like, literally. Like, literally, and also there's literally no way. Like, if I try to move them, it it's basically moving them back in the same spot. So you kind of need to 
you you really need to slide them if you wanna. I mean, I guess I could have showed what happens if you get hit or if you don't line them up, but I'll just do that in a time when I won't be able to solve a puzzle by embarrassment or just by showcasing or just by because I literally just cannot solve it. Look at that. The Goombas have been saved by Mario instead of getting crushed by Mario. That's a little, uh, a little bit backwards, but not that much. It is the Origami King that we're dealing with, so... It might... He might do some weird things. Oh well. Well, anyways. Anyways, next we've got another little bottomless hole. Not that much. Um, yeah, these aren't anything, are they? No, okay. Look at those really large gum goom. I was about to say gumbas. No, goombas. So you can kind of go like that. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Such an idiot. Alright. Ignoring that, um. Jump here, and surprisingly, this recording has gone longer than I expected it would have. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get to the area. The more I realize how much we still had left. And uh, yeah, there's still quite a lot of. Oh yeah, this is actually a new area. I forgot. This is we have now we're out of the whispering woods. And now we have Toad Town. This area has a to 100%. You actually you literally have to like. You have to progress in the game, literally, to 100%. I think you have to even beat the game to even get, like, to even 100% the game. That's how in... Or this... This... This area. That's just how insane this is. We might have to do something before I can end the episode. Because I, I, I wanted to end the episode, but I don't even think it's going to let me. This is Toad Town. Literally where we started our... For, or where we were going. But, um, it's really annoying because I didn't want to do this. I wanted to save this till next episode, but looks like we're doing it, um, right now. It's the Goomba who's been making these holes. It also turns really weird, I will be honest. That's a little sticker. I guess it's kind of, it's more of a weak point, if any. Well, is it? I don't know. It, it's, it looks like it's a weak point. Also, anytime you hit it and you remove the sticker, it has this little sad face. Also, when it's going like that, you can't hit it. You, like when it kind of, it's kind of like invincibility frames almost. Like you can't hit it again. Like I'll try to. I actually, I might just defeat it. Yeah. I was like, I might just defeat it in that one hit. No more I think about it. Never mind. So yeah. Whenever you kill them, they drop not only a lot of confetti, but also... I think they can drop hearts sometimes. I'm not sure. But one thing we need to do, though... Uh, well, you know what? Let's do this right now before anything. Let's, um... Refill this. I don't even know if you can go in there or not. We might find out. But we'll, we will explore the rest of Toad Town in uh, the next episode. I just want to fill in these last two things and uh yeah i think that's actually gonna end off the episodes here so yeah thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you another time you let an eight ball fall goodbye